because Memphis, I'm the greatest. I'm the fastest. I'm the best. No one can build a wheel that three men can stand on that wheel and never break. I learned my trade in the West Indies. That's why um, most people who learn trade in the West Indies, you learn everything. So you, you have to learn to do the wheel, the assembling, the toys, everything like that. But in England here, I mean, 10 people working on one bike. See, but in the West Indies, not so. Now, when I came here, we didn't have much place to live. No choice. We have to take what we got. See, because at that time now, um, three of us was living in one room. I chose some many immigrants used to live on some little road, on Geneva Road, on Sussex Road, they really used to have kids. When at some little road, there was some little road and Geneva Road, there were the two worst brick road, by road in Brixton. That we always find the prostitution, the drugs, and the fighting always happened there. Well, everybody came here for five years. So, you know, but when five years, I buy my first place, I didn't think of home anymore. <laughs> so, 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 I just had to stay here. So, you know, but from, but from 1954, until now, I still working in cycles for 54 years. The way we're doing every day until today. When I came in, my first job was with Claude Butler, a club on Manor Street. Anyway, I never spent long with Claude Butler because things were getting slow. And then several then. Um, last come, first go. So I spent six months with them, then, then I got to go. Then after I leave now, I go in the building site. But when I go in the building site now, and everybody was wearing tie, I put my tie in as well. But while we're digging the trench, my tie will come out like this. And now, uh, White Brook said to me, he says, Sam, you, you don't have no, no trade as an amateur mechanic. He said, go on the Park Royal Road, a Dayton cycle, you got a job there. Then when I go there now, I got the job there. The, uh, at the time now, to a billion two in wheels, I got the job there. Well, I spent about 10 years there with them. And when I reached about, about um, four or five years, they put me in charge of that assignment at the wheel building department. Mm -hmm. Anyway, they got busted. Then I go to Hans Westhard Company at Pinch. So when I go there, um, the four months I years we want, want the wheel builder here. I said, okay, I'll, I'll take the job. He asked me, says, how much wheel can you build a day? They can do a day. I said, can do you 200 wheels before 4 o'clock? Less than this work. He said, blind me. He said, a Jamaican came here last month, said he could build a wheel in five minutes. And the whole day, he couldn't build one. And you come at him and say, you can, you can do 200 wheels at another Jamaican. So I said, yeah. Anyway, he said, okay, start the um, Monday morning. But the same day, I started to work, and he'll get sucked the same day. Although was the fastest one in the country, and the best worker, he, he nearly sucked me. He nearly sucked me for reading the newspaper. He gave me 80 wheels to start with the morning. And I finished with 80 wheels, about nine o'clock. When he comes, he's in the reading paper and says, it's tea time book, tea time. I would tend to ten. He said, you don't even start work yet, it's a reading paper. I said, I've got no work. 
He said, where's the work I gave it to the door? I said, it's finished. Then, he, then uh, when they check everything, he said to me that in all his 40 years of experience in the trade, he never come across no one like me. Then they call in the paper reporter, the television people came here, watched me working. See, and every, you know, and they start to sell a lot of wheels because of the, the amount that I can produce. In the um, 50, in the late um, 50s and 60s, there was trouble in Brixton. See, because I remember um, my son was coming from work on we used to work at the same place at Hosworth. So I leave before, I leave about um, five o'clock even. And he leave there after six, seven, something like that. And when he came home from work, he stopped at, uh, at Brixton there in a right where Iceland is now. It's, it's in a, so police said they were watching him from after four. And the train was to, to pick a woman's bag, you know. But at the same time, he was at work. So anyway, they take him to the station, and they go there and they bail him. And tell him to go there anyway. We won the case. So anyway, we would advise that, that if we take it further, you know, the police are we picking on that boy, you see. So we just leave it there. Mm -hmm. But at that time now, he, when he reached Brixton about 7 o'clock, and they said they were watching him from about half past four. Yeah. That time he was at Crystal Palace working. See? He said, so we just drop it there, you see?